Ohio State. So, 4 by one at Tennessee, what, uh, last week or two, uh, you know, opener, individual opener today in the 100 direct relays. Uh, yeah, you almost looks like you got a great start, and Isaiah held on. What beat you ten o two to ten o three? I think. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you were pretty well. Go I ahead. couldn't feel him, uh, and then I looked up when I got to the line. I was like, oh my god, Isaiah's right here. But I knew he was going to get out uh, yesterday. I was watching him do starts, and he looked pretty good. Um, I knew he was going to be somewhere out there, but I couldn't feel him because I was in five and he was in two. But yeah. good race for me, good opener. I don't know what the win was, but yeah, pretty good. Yeah, you were, uh, I heard you afterwards come off the track, you kept looking over at him, celebrating, excited. You, you're pretty upset. He, you, you thought you had him, didn't you? Yeah, I thought I had him because I didn't feel him, but uh, it's okay. It's early in the season. I see him again at pre-fall time. And what's this, what's this set you up for? What's, tell me uh, how you're feeling. Obviously, um, no, no world championships this no year. World what's champs. what's uh, the goal? Just, just trying to stay healthy. I've been banged up the last two years, so trying to get my rhythm back, trying to get back to up 10 consistently like I was in 2015 when I broke the record and ran 16 of them. So, uh, looking into the Caribbean meets coming up, Guadalupe, Jamaica, I look to drop some fast times. Sure, sure. What, you know, what's, what's, what's the mix like between competing professionally at the top and also have you started your, your coaching career as you start, you know, help, help, help in college and helping with some of these guys? What, what's that mix like? And are you, are you look back and like, oh, man, I, man, you know. Man, it's different because um, the kids now are way more eager to learn. Uh, I'm coaching the sprinters at UT right now, so you know, getting them going, young team, and for the future, it's looking very, very bright. These next couple of years, we had a good recruiting class come in, so I'm I'm happy that Tom should let me come help. Yeah, I'm happy about that. What's health wise? You feel like you're 100. Where's this come off the line? Uh, finally recovered from my PRP I, ha I had uh, after the Olympics. Okay. Uh, finally back up to strength wise, strength level. Uh, strength coach named Travis. Uh, shout out True Ground Systems. <laughs> they got me back healthy and. Uh, my coach man is doing a wonderful job with me. Never left him, Daryl Woodson. Thank him as well. And uh, shout out to my daughter who just got born, six months. Hey, Micah, Daddy did good today. Well, you, you just missed making that all world another World Championships indoor uh, team this year, and then you almost pulled it off with the IAAF uh, wild card. What? Tell me, uh, um, what was it like sitting at home for it, watching the first indoor World Championships go by and not being there for the first yeah, time? Yeah, the long first time, time I haven't made the World Team, but. I feel like I didn't have the weather in Texas. We had a very, very bad winter. We don't have anywhere to train indoors. So basically off weight room and grass work, I did pretty good. I ran 650, my PB is 648. Yeah. So I'm headed in the right direction. Um, those guys ran fast. World yeah. record, can't complain. Uh, I, I could say if uh, maybe I had the weather, I could have ran faster, but those guys ran exceptionally running. Christian, I'm happy. They brought home gold and some some uh, hardware. Right, right. You obviously were had success when you were in college here at Lindenwood and uh, Oklahoma Baptist. What's is this your first time back? My first time back at Drake League Relay since then, and the crowd's still the same, and I still love the crowd. Um, got to see some of my Iowa State family. Yeah. When I got recruited and right. went to the school for a short period of time, so and my Oklahoma Baptist family is here, Coach Maston. So yeah, it was great to see those kids and that coaching staff. What's this kind of event mean for for you personally? That you know. Um, obviously, most kids never see a meet like this. You know, you go to small high school meets, and that's about as big as their world gets. But for a pro, what's what's as you look around at this big meet and all the fans and, and these young high schoolers compete? Not what? just for me, but for other pros, it's great exposure. Yeah. Um, it's all about branding the next two years, going into the Olympics, and getting as much exposure as you can. Yeah, I think it's time for awards.